everybody. Welcome back. This is Anna. And I wanted to show you my travel setup for when I go to England. I'm actually going in a couple weeks and I wanted to get this up early so I make sure I have this ready to post for you guys. I wanted to show you just the Midori setup itself and uh, some of the supplies that I'm bringing. So I am bringing my lovely brown regular size Midori. It already has the Pan Am pen loop on there. I know it's got the blue leather which really doesn't match but I don't really care because I've got a whole Pan Am theme for my travels uh, this time around. So uh, I've got my favorite Uniball Vision pen in fine tip which actually comes out as more of a medium ink weight as I think. Um, and I've had this for a while now. I've had it for about a good month or so. I changed the charm so it's not only the little bunny charm but I also found at, I think it was Michael's, they had a pack of these on clearance where it was like London themed charms and it says underground on there so it's got the little tube sign on there. Does it? There it is. So I kind of have that sitting as a little background. So I have those tied to the bookmark. I'm not changing any of the photos. Those are just pretty much staying put. Um, that's actually us. Um, in front of the, I think, Cavalry Museum in London on our honeymoon. So those are pretty much staying there. I already have my Pan Am um, zip pocket in here. And pretty much everything, like sticker-wise and things like that, are already in the pockets. I actually changed them out uh, an hour ago. And so in here got a bunch of things, some random bits like uh, tickets and some Miko Garashi things. Those are small enough, I'll just keep in there. But I have some Pan Am stickers. Oh, hold on. Some more like random little ticket pieces. And these Pan Am stickers came from these limited edition sticker packs that I got from... Where did I get these from? I think I got these on Etsy for sure from Ikumi at oh, I can't remember her shop's name but I will link it below because I've purchased I've spent a good amount of my income on that site <laughs> so I thought I would find some kind of travel appropriate stickers to kind of stick in randomly to bring out this whole travel theme England's my favorite country London is like one of my favorite cities and so it's it's a big deal for me to be able to go back a second time just because I've just I'm so happy there. It's my favorite city. Favorite country. I've got this is a Tim Holtz like world, globe um vellum piece. I'm keeping my Samiko Garashi things in here just because honestly they don't take up that much weight. So you'll see these uh in there which I've featured in past uh videos. So those are all in there. They weigh nothing, so. These are a couple Heidi Swap vellum pieces. I thought they would be fun to just stick in as a background for photos, because I will bring my Instax camera, so. I just love this quote, when you love what you have, you have everything you need. Uh, just a reminder that, you know, still keep things simple. Don't buy too much. <laughs> um, a pen pal sent me some London-themed stickers. I have a sticker for... I've had this since like middle school. That that goes to show you how much I've wanted to go to England. Um, so it's, it's just Big Ben. I cut it out from like a larger sheet. And I don't know if you can see this. I'll put it on as a background. That's what it looks like. These little London themed stickers. I actually have two so of the same thing. So slipping that in there and everything just fits perfectly in here. Very slim. No bulk to it. I currently have my journal in here right now, but it's actually going to be changed to this Pan American Airlines System Timetable Blank Journal. So that's what it looks like. And that will go in there to kind of bring out that Pan Am theme. I will be bringing a few sheets of these. You really can't see what they are, but they're actually little stick-on pockets that are by the Midori brand. They are the number 23 pack of 
Traveler's Notebooks pockets. And so that's what they look like. And then here is what it's all about. It's the shaded portion of it is actually the sticky port part. And then you can actually slip in photos, tickets, and things like that. So I thought this would be a great thing to add to any sort of travel journal. My husband uh, mistakenly ordered these for his Midori. He thought they were the, he thought it was the business card holder. And I thought, well, I'm just going to keep these because these are just perfect for traveling. So I'll have a few sheets of those in here just kind of slipped to the side. And as always, because I like to keep things straight, I'll have two sheets of the graph paper that I use. I mean, you can tell it's just covered in ink spots and stuff like that. So using this Uniball pen, it doesn't necessarily absorb into this paper right away. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same for this insert. And so what I like to do is I have one sheet that I lay underneath. So that way you can kind of see the lines and you can write in a straight manner. But then I also keep one on top, like say I've finished writing this page, and I'll bring that over so it doesn't just create an inky mess on this side. Um, so that's just kind of like a trick that I use to uh, keep things neat in my notebook. This is the other side of that Pan Am notebook uh, pocket insert, and I have a couple of washi cards, which is pretty much all I'm bringing. These are travel themed. A couple are, a few are Pan Am, so these are, these are the Pan Am themed washi tape. I have one that's just kind of like a mail theme, and then this is like a traveler's notebook theme washi. And then I have some Peter Rabbit ones, because we'll be in the Lake District area. Um, some, this is like a tube theme one. Just thought that they were perfect for what I wanted to, uh, what I want to use as a theme. Not that I have that much of a theme going, but um, definitely the travel theme. These are some travel stickers by the Midori brand. So tickets, those all fit in this pocket here. I am keeping, this is upside down because there's no way for me to slip this in the other way, but I will have a little pack of sticky notes, so if I have brochures or a little memory that I want to just jot down a note on so when I journal later on or hours later I don't forget it, I'll have some sticky notes for that purpose. In here, uh, I took out most of the Korean Diary stickers that I had in here originally, but I have... Um, just a few things that I'll be bringing with me. This is a happy scrappy kind of cloud themed cutout. I don't know if I can show you. You can tell from here. Uh, stickers. So I thought that would be very appropriate. These are like the pig themed ones, but I plan on using like this sticker and this sticker here for when we're about to go. So I thought I'd just keep that in there for now. Got a Sumiko Garashi little folder here and some London themed photos from Instagram that I printed out. Um, bunny stickers, they just happen to be in there. Um, London themed stickers. These are happy scrappy little quote cards. And one says, ideas can happen anywhere and not all those who wander are lost. So I thought those were fun things to keep in there that I can stick in. And so that all lives in here, and this will just have to sit in an upside down manner for now. Another Pan Am sticker, some travel photos. This always lives in here, it's just a pair of uh, little bow scissors, which I thought were really cute. I got on my trip to Portland. Actually, I think I got these in Seattle. And they have the letter M on there, which I think is by Mitchum or Mitchell brand. So that just fits perfectly in here. I believe any blade or scissors that are under 4 inches are allowed onto the plane, so I don't think I have to worry too much about that. But 
that is pretty much all I'm bringing in terms of my actual notebook. It doesn't weigh it down, which is what I did not want it to do. And in my essentials case by J. Crew, which I will link below if you are interested in that. I get a lot of questions about it. I have a spare Uniball Vision Pen. I'm debating whether I want to bring this because I actually don't have the ink for this yet, but I just got this. This is the Bohr um, fountain pen. I really love the weight of it. I just love the look of it in here, so hopefully if I can find an ink cartridge for it uh, on Prime or something, I'll get that set up and it'll travel with me. I've got my little crane scissors that I got from Joann's. They're under four inches, so they should be okay, but honestly, it's cheap enough that if they took it away from me, I'd be fine with it. And a moleskin flat pencil, which so it doesn't roll around. Probably have to bring the sharpener with me, so if I do some sketching or things like that, uh, since I'm going to be out in the country, I can sharpen it, which wouldn't be a big deal, but just, you know, it's a small little thing I can carry with. And then in this pocket here... I've got some vellum pieces that are travel themed, some more Midori travel themed stickers. This is a washi sheet with uh, like flight inform. No, what is this? Oh, this is like um, London directory, like call codes. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, like Kensington, Kensal Green, Kew Gardens, like all of that's listed here. So, I thought that would be appropriate for the trip. This is a. I think a Heidi Swap travel vellum piece, some journaling cards from various Project Life themed boxes, I think some were ones that Pen Pal sent me. This isn't Project Life, but I found this to be kind of a cute thing to add to, maybe some journaling, I thought that was fun. I've got the travel bug. Let's get lost together. So, some just some. I didn't plan on doing too many like crazy decorating, decorating uh, things, but because I found with my trip to Portland and Seattle that I didn't really do too much with the journaling cards. But this time around, because I'm bringing my insects camera, um, I'll be doing that a little bit more. And since we're going to be there for two weeks, I'll have plenty of time to do that. And those are pretty much it. I'm debating whether I really want to bring this, which is a Zig Memory System two-way glue stick. And so you press into it and then it just creates glue. Because I'm not bringing a regular glue stick, that's just too big. This is acid-free and I have not used this before. I pretty much got it for the trip. Um, because if I had really wanted to, I could just slip it into this pack and it would just fit right in there. I think with some pieces I might want to use that because I don't want to just tape everything down with washi tape because then I'll run out of washi tape pretty quickly. So I most likely will bring a glue stick with me to, you know, tape down brochures and things like that. That's it. That's all I'm planning on bringing uh, Journaling-wise, I'm going to be too busy traveling. I'm going to be too tired to really do too many elaborate things. So this will work out for me perfectly. And so I'm not sure if this video is going to go up before my journal update. But I do want to ask you if you do have recommendations for stationery stores or craft supplies stores in the Manchester area as well as in the London area. I would love to know. Um names of the places, if you have the address or something, just uh, make a comment below. I'd really appreciate it. I'm making it a huge goal to check out some of those Midori supply places in London, since we don't really have any here. So any recommendations would be great. Hello to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us here. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!